What's going on everybody? I am Staccato Little Bits here and welcome back to my channel. You know, here we talk about luxury fashion, we talk about streetwear, we talk about sneakers because sometimes when you're scrolling on the internet, you see something you like and it creates a need. So, okay, today I'm doing a haul because you see mustard chair means haul. We're doing like an association here. When you see mustard, you know that I'm about to unbox some stuff. Okay, so anyway, I'm going to think of this as the haul that almost wasn't because these items, one of them is a, a many, actually years in the making. Um, the other one, I've had so much trouble trying to get it. I've, I'm going to get into it. So the first item that I have is from, I guess, a brand that I now really like a lot, um, Just Cavalli. Which, by the way, um, this is by Roberto Cavalli. This is a piece of art um, called Withered by Jose Pedro Godoy. So, um, yeah, they actually, I don't remember the exact year and season this came from. I'm gonna look it up and I'm gonna put it right here. So yeah, it's from this season. And they also made a suit that was the same pattern, like the whole suit had this pattern. I mean, the jacket, the button-up shirt underneath, the the slacks, like, and of course, I'm, I'm not able to find that. I really want it so bad. I'm sure I'll never find it, but, you know, the guy can dream. But anyway, so I have something from the Diffusion line, Just Cavalli, and I've wanted this jacket gonna say it's a jacket I mean you're gonna see it anyway I wanted this jacket since like 2020 like during like pandemic. well still kind of going on but I mean like during the height of it and I found the website called Ukes which this is where it's from and I saw this and I was like oh this is nice so I put it on my wish list and I kept it on there for like two years and now I'm finally actually getting around to buying it. So it started off as a, it was an okay price for, you know, the discount, but then it eventually lowered. Then it was like this 95% off sale, which I think was up to 95% off or up to 90% off. And it came down to a nice price. And I was like, I gotta have it. I've been wanting this for a while. So this is from just Cavalli and it is a leather bomber and this bomber is really nice okay so the leather is this isn't lambskin to uh, I think it's calfskin and I know it's not lambskin because lambskin is usually very very soft and very delicate like it's kind of thin like you feel like you might rip it like it's it's something that has to be babied and you know, all that kind of stuff. You don't have to baby this really. You can, this is calf skin. It's very durable. Um, like normal calf skin, it has certain imperfections within it. It's not really uniform. Like for example, I don't know if this is gonna pick up on camera. You see this? And then you can look on the underside of the sleeve, whole different pattern. Do that again. Boom, you see that? And boom, you see that. It's skin, so I mean, it has imperfections. I mean, I got skin, I have imperfections. It's, it is what it is. This is a part of the nature of the thing. So this is the back of it. And for the life of me, I don't know what this stands for. It's S-T-C-A, it's showing a reverse image, of course, but I don't know what that, I don't know what it stands for. I just, every time I see it, I'm like, yeah, I, I just do. I, I don't know if this is, they try to take my name. I don't know. I mean, look, I don't know. But just Cavalli doesn't know who I am. Okay. So there's also something that's really cool about this. There's actually a few things that are really cool about this. So you know how coats and jackets have that little thing that you hang them on like you want to hang them on like from those coat racks or something like that this thing is made out of 
some metal i don't think it's like a precious metal i don't think it's like white gold or silver or anything like that but it's herringbone let me see if you can get up close this is herringbone it's so impractical it's ridiculously un impractical like why would you do this roberto cavalli just cavalli why would you do that i'm a fan i'm a big fan of this but why would you do this it's so unnecessary but anyway so it also has these pockets on it, which I'm gonna show when I put this on body. Um, and it's just overall just really, really nice. I actually got it to replace um, another jacket that I have. It's a moto style jacket. Um, it's from Michael Kors and it's from this season. Cause I don't know it offhand, so I, there's the, annotation now the jacket is not bad i'm going to show you that on body first so this is the michael kors jacket i was talking about that um the jessica valley jacket will be replacing still gonna probably have it i'm th although i am thinking about like possibly selling it so the leather quality great i i, I mean i can't say enough about it like the leather quality is really good um Again, similar imperfections. This does its skin. That's what it does. And but the thing about it is that the styling of it is very basic. I mean, it's Michael Kors. It gives you a nice quality, but the styling is not like there's nothing edgy about it. It's just a moto jacket. That's what they call it because it has this collar thing right here. This snap right here but um i mean has zippers i mean it's real basic and i wanted something that had a little more edge to it and i think the the jessica Valley jacket has a little more edge to it okay now i'm gonna show you this jessica Valley bomber one body as well okay y'all so i'm gonna hurry up and do this because i'm getting hot already just putting all these clothes on so this is the jacket nice nice gathering at the bottom let me turn around really regular from the back to be honest so like i said this jacket has these pockets so there are pockets right here that you wouldn't think of, like, okay, there's pockets here. It's a normal bomber jacket kind of pocket situation. But here's where it gets interesting. Okay, so this front zipper things, these things right here, these are actual pockets. And like, you can have a, you know, you can, you can keep that thing on you, you really could. And the inside, I don't know if you can see that, raise it like that. This is leather. The, in, the inside part is leather. This part is fabric, but this is leather. Like it's a continuous piece of leather. Well, not really, I mean, it's, this is sewn on right here, but still, continuous piece. Beautiful, just, just gorgeous. Now, one thing that I've run into as far as this jacket is concerned when I was like doing stuff with it is that the zipper, it's hard for it to go back up because it catches on the fabric. It's just a little difficult, which reminds me of most leather jacket zippers. But yeah, really nice. Actually, let me open this up for two reasons. I want to show you something and then also I'm getting hot. So it also has an interior pocket situation. Let me show you that. It has a loop, it has a button. This is also leather, by the way, with the loop also being leather as well i can just open this thing it has a pocket right here and the top part of the pocket leather amazing great details and also if you can see the pattern i don't know if the light is kind of washing it out it says just 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 because this is just cavalli right so yeah just 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 so what else 
on the same on this side, same situation. Just, 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 just. And it's funny because I just realized something. Just discovered this right now. Okay, so you know how it says just up in here? This isn't stika. It's not stika. This is part of just and C.A. Cavalli. Who would have thought? Why would you do that to me, Roberto? The people behind Roberto Cavalli. Who's the creative director of Roberto Cavalli? Why would you do that? Why would you do that to me to confuse me? I didn't know this was going to be just, just Cavalli and you just drop some letters like that and now it's I thought you were trying to do something for me, like a little tribute to me. But I guess not. I still like the jacket. So as far as the just Cavalli jacket, I told you that it was a great price. So this is the original price. Big money, right? Like unbiased, like this is a lot of money. Like that's a lot of money to be spending on an item of clothing. It just is. But this is how much I paid for it. That's a big difference, right? It's a big difference. Still relatively a lot of money. I'm not that out of touch, y'all. But great price. Great price, for especially for the quality that you get. Amazing. Amazing. The next and final item that I have that contributes to this whole theme of the haul that almost wasn't, because this, y'all, this frustrated me to no end. Okay, so I have a sneaker ball coming up where I'm, I'm going to use these as my shoes for the sneaker ball. And if you don't know what a sneaker ball is, it's basically people get together and the guys wear like a suit or something formal and then have sneakers on. Or uh, the women wear something formal like a, maybe a dress or something body kind, whatever. And then they wear sneakers with it. It's just... It's a sneaker ball. It's like a ball, like ball gown, and then sneakers. Get it? Okay. So, I bought these sneakers randomly because I couldn't find something that matched my suit. I just, I, I couldn't find it. I found some sneakers randomly by, like, Googling, I don't know, whatever kind of color sneaker I wanted. And I found that Versace, on the actual Versace website, had these sneakers on sale. So I ordered them. And I was like, okay, this is a nice price for this. Like, I was excited to get the sneakers. I'm like, okay, I can't wait. So usually what happens with, with most packages, they get put on your front doorstep, right? or wherever you direct the people to do, whatever. I missed the delivery. They put the little sticker thing on there, the UPS thing, and said, oh, sorry, we missed you. And of course, I didn't get my package because I had to sign for this thing. And I'm like, okay. I've had to sign for like maybe one purchase. And I, y'all, y'all see me on the internet. Like I buy high-end retail stuff all the time. I buy luxury fashion, I buy streetwear, I buy sneakers all the time. And I've only had to sign for a package one time and it was for like a t-shirt. It was for like a Margiela t-shirt a long time ago. And it wasn't even that expensive. I mean, comparatively speaking. And for some reason, they were getting me to run around with these sneakers. So I missed the delivery like two other times. And I was like, okay, I got to do something about this. So I called UPS and I was like, okay, hey, UPS, can you like put, like deliver this to like one of your hubs so I can just pick it up at the in-store thing? And they were like, um, actually, no, you can't. And they said the reason behind that is because the actual company, Versace, said, you can't do that. We have to have a signature. We have to have your signature because we want to make sure that you get this thing. And I'm like, this is ridiculous. Really? Really? Okay. 
I get the security and you know, they don't want to just have a package stolen off the porch. I get it. I really do get it. It's for my own personal security. So they said that I have to contact Versace themselves. I'm like, really? Okay, does Versace have a phone number? Can I just call up Donatella and be like, hey, um, I need my package. Can you just, you know, send it to the to the UPS store so I can just pick it up? Like, hey, Donatella, can y'all help me? Donatella ain't on the phone. So I scroll to the bottom of the email. They have a customer service number. So I call the customer service number. I spoke to this lovely young lady. I'm assuming that she's young. I don't know. Her name is Joel. And Joel, I don't know if you're going to see this video, Joel, but thank you so much. Um, so she basically said, like, hey, um, okay, I can actually send it to the UPS, like, pick up a, before I go there, I actually ask her a question. I'm like, okay, so what's up with the signature thing? I'm like, I understand what y'all trying to do, but this has made it so difficult. And I said, well, actually, Versace um, insures your package. So that's why they want you to sign for it. They want to make sure that you get it because it is insured from when it leaves the actual, not manufacturer, but the storefront or wherever the main hub for Versace stuff comes from and from there to you, it is insured. So as a result, that's why there's so much security. So I went to UPS because they actually managed to get it the same day. I was like, okay, cool, I got the same day. They called me and was like, hey, we got your package. Go ahead and pick it up. We close at 9 p.m. I'm like, okay, cool, cool. So I go up to uh to Versace. I go up to UPS and I go talk to the lady and the lady's like, she asked me all these questions. I, I needed an ID. Um, apparently my ID has like an old address that I haven't updated yet. And I've been living here for how long? Anyway. Um, so they were like, do you have a piece of mail? And I'm like, oh, do I have to go back home? Do I have to go back home for this? And apparently, I didn't need a piece of mail, so they just said, do you have the order form? So I need the actual order on the phone, like the email that says, hey, we're sending it to this address in Chicago. And I'm like, okay. So I showed her that. Um, and she was telling me, she was like, yeah, there's a lot of security involved with this because um, some people will, that actually work for UPS, will change the address on there and the name and make it seem like, oh, this is somebody else's um, parcel and they'll have a friend pick it up and then they just steal your package. I'm like, that is insane. There's a lot going on with package stealing. Like people aren't just stealing packages off your front porch anymore. They're stealing it from the actual UPS, the actual FedEx. I don't know if FedEx does the same thing, but UPS, what is going on? I don't even know if it fits you or not, but you know where it's coming from and you want it. There's a lot of crooks up in here. But anyway, she even said, she's like, this package is not even supposed to be here. I'm like, okay, it's not supposed to be here. Nobody's supposed to be here. I bought from this place for the last time. My heart said no, no, but I had to buy it. I had to buy it. So long story short, it's here. Okay, so let me show you. <laughs> Okay, so without doxing myself, is it on the side there? This is that on the side. Okay, you can just see that. Okay, so open this. Okay, mind you, you're getting a real unboxing situation. I have not looked in here. Usually, I look at the stuff to see if it's there. I have not looked in here. So you're getting a real unboxing today. Okay, so. When I open it, let me show you this. You got the little envelope, you got the tissue paper that says Versace. You got all that kind of stuff going on with the little sticker thing to make sure that nobody has tampered with this package. So, this is really nice by the way. Okay, look, look at that, look at that. See, this is what happens when you buy something directly from the place, which, rarely do in the first place but anyway so yeah i got this it says versace products represent i'm gonna say this like i'm donatello versace products represent not only the latest fashions but the finest italian craftsmanship 
I don't even know if this is an Italian accent in that at all, but I'm trying. We hope that you enjoy your recent purchase to discover our latest collections. Please visit your local boutique or Versace.com. I hope, the Italians, I hope I really did that accent correctly. I probably didn't, but I'm trying. So then you get this too, which I'm sure is like my receipt. Let me see. It's nice, it's a little pocket situation. And it has my name for Staccato Louvets here. Okay, so let's see. Okay, then it has my receipt and all that kind of stuff on there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, address, SKU number, the description, whatever. The return little thingy. All in the Versace fonts. And I think that's about it. Let's get to the unboxing part of it. Or the untissue papering of it. Okay. So first look. I've showed you all Versace sneakers on this channel before when I was talking about our luxury sneakers worth it. If I can put the little bubble there, I will. If I can't, it just ain't gonna be there. You can find it on my channel. But anyway, so that's the box. Looks just like a typical little Versace box. Okay, so I got the Greca. I think that's called the Greca style sneakers. So let's show you this. Okay, another Versace thing. And I believe this is like the care. It's an interesting smell. It smells like a subtle, more palatable nail polish remover. What can I say? Anyway, it says, thank you for selecting the product from Versace Collection, blah, 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 blah. This product is exclusively available and authorized Gianni Versace. SRL boutiques, I don't know what that means. But it has, okay, it has a typical luxury fashion thing of saying, um, these materials are naturally prone to irregularities in color and texture. They should not be considered imperfections, but rather unique characteristics that add value to an exceptional product. They always say that, it's like, look, if we messed up, that's just the charm. At least that's what I feel like. I said that about the Margiela sneakers. I'm saying that about these, cause come on, we spent all this money and you got imperfections like that. Anyway, comes with the dust bag as it should. It's the typical white dust bag. I think they're all white. And this has been the same dust bag that they've had from like many, many seasons, many seasons. So that's the dust bag. Still the same nail polish remover smell. And it really colorful. Look at this sneaker. Look at this. Wow. 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 Look at you. Okay. Look at that. Oh, and I'm just seeing the bottom of this. Y'all are going to freak out. Okay. Well, I'm freaking out. Okay, so this is called, actually, it's called the Trigreca. So if you see it on the back, that says Trigreca. And at the top part, okay, there's some paper right here. I'm just going to move that paper. You see Versace. And then right here, it says Trigreca. So the Trigreca has been a silhouette that's been out for a little bit. It's not as new as the Odyssea, which has recently come out, which I really want. But the sale price has not come down enough for me. So, anyway. And finally, the bottom of the sneaker. Look who's peeking out the shoe. The Medusa head is just peeking out the shoe like that. It's just green, randomly green. Because why not? It's green. 
Okay, so the inside, I I'm giving you all the four senses here. The inside smells like the nail polish remover-ish, but it smells like a shoe. Like a typical shoe smell, it smells like that. And on the inside, I don't know if you can see this, but I'm assuming it says Trigreca in the inside, which almost looks like cork. Actually, it's really smooth. The sole is really smooth. Like I can just slip out of here and just fall within the shoe. And it also has, I guess this is Versace's um, version of Ultra Boost technology. It says Greca cushioning system. Like, like there's some technology going on in here. I don't know if you can see that. And I don't know if that's actually a thing. And also it has, I guess it's a serial number on the side. I don't know. With Versace on the other side. So, and the laces, the laces are like a, I don't know, kind of a slightly thicker mesh blend, but very nice. Oh yeah, that's nice. And the bottom is so smooth. Like I know you can't tell on camera, like you know how certain sneakers have a little bit of texture. It's textured right here and all where you see that's black, but the white part is like extremely smooth. Like if the white part was just hitting the ground, you'd be sliding around. That That's, that's how I feel about it. But yeah, so the materials used here, it looks like mostly man-made materials. This is kind of like a mesh material. I'm not sure if this is leather or not. I don't think it is. Actually, no, the back, the back part is leather. All this animal print, the pink part, that is leather. Um, the black part is not. This is man-made materials, like a rubber kind of situation going on there um same thing with this right here this is a man-made material as well this greca print right here this is actually silk screen on from what i can feel so i don't know maybe it's a delicate shoe i don't know but um i'm gonna try these on okay so these shoes are very comfortable in the body like, they're shaped like how you walk. They're almost like an athletic sneaker. Like, I wonder if they, like, commissioned another company to make this technology that's really Boost-esque. Because, like, it's really comfortable. Ridiculously comfortable. It's really shaped like how you walk. In fact, if I was rich... Like if I was a really wealthy man, I would use these as workout shoes. Like honestly, they're that good. Like they remind me of um, a Jordan that I have. That's kind of like an athletic sneaker like this. Let me show you from the back. Look closer. Shoot from this side. See that? Do like that. So you can just get real nice feel for it and of course I gotta show you the bottom again yeah, just, like just, just really nice really nice sneakers okay so one critique because I got a critique okay so I think this has something to do with the way it's laced too it's laced a little strange but this tongue right here if you don't adjust it correctly, this is going to dig into your ankle and you're going to be like, oh, this kind of hurts right there. But pull it a certain way, way more comfortable because this one right here is kind of digging. So I pull this. Ah, okay. So yeah, way better. Oh yeah, way better. Okay. But yeah, really nice sneaker. Let me see if I can heal it. It is a chunky sneaker, I will say that. And like, you see that big giant bumper on the back? Like, you see that big giant bumper on the back? Like, it, it's, it's, it's a chunky one. Not as chunky as 
the Balenciaga track runners. But that'd be nice. Now, as far as comfort is concerned, hmm, what would I rate these? I would rate them like four out of five because they are extremely comfortable, but not as comfortable as the Balenciaga track runners. Like, it feels like a really nice athletic shoe. Like, they really thought about this as far as like comfort technology. I wouldn't have expected that from Versace because I talked about Versace sneakers before on this channel and the quality was, yeah, yeah, it wasn't that great. But I paid a nice little, I had a really good discount on those sneakers, so I really didn't care. But um, yeah, these make up for a lot. Now, as far as the materials used, and is it worth the original price? No, it's not. It's, it's really not, but you know, you're paying for the design, you're paying for the label, you're paying for details like this. Like, I get it. I get it. And I'm a big fan. So you may be saying, you know, okay, Versace had a sale, so how much were they? Okay, so they still cost, y'all. They still cost. So... This is the price that they originally were. That's not fair. That's ridiculous. It's utterly ridiculous for this type of sneaker. I wouldn't have paid that price for it at all. But this price right here, still too damn much. But I mean, I, I was fine with this. I was fine with this. And it came directly from the manufacturer. Never bought something directly from Versace before. I always buy stuff from Essence, Farfetch ukes you know that kind of stuff like a, a third party kind of situation but i got this directly from there and i like it it's actually way more detailed when you actually get it in person and this is really nice i'm really a big fan of this i'm not gonna throw the shoe like i usually do because I, I i'm like i gotta baby the shoe I just paid a nice little price for this so I'm gonna baby it a little bit until I don't have to baby it anymore because it'll be older by then but you know anyway so we're gonna set this down <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed the haul with my little story time with each item because it really was a long time in the making for these sneakers and it was really difficult to get these things. I was really surprised that that jacket was still on my wish list all those years later and nobody bought it. And I think that was the only, the, on, the one that's left was the one that was in my size and that's it. So nobody wanted it, which I'm surprised because if you actually look at it and you feel it, if you, if you wear it, you'll love it. But you know, some people probably are like, oh, it's just Cavalli, you know, it's a diffusion one. I want the real Roberto Cavalli. Look, y'all are missing out on the diffusion lines. I'm telling you, you need to get into the diffusion lines. A lot of people, that's their first way into the brand, like, get into the diffusion line. A lot of times it's the same quality, just for less of a price. Just saying. But anyway, again, I am Staccato Louverture. I love you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I make videos like this all the time. Well, now more often than I was before. Um, so I'll see you in the next one.